Sometimes when I have flashbacks, it's of them beating me. Ken and Barney used to beat me after raping me. I can't listen to country music because that's all they ever played, to drown out my screaming. When I hear it, it just all comes back. If someone's yelling at me, it makes me have flashbacks. Them hitting me and yelling at me and beating me and punching me. The scariest flashback I've ever had was when Kenneth put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger and was laughing about it. Well, Lauren's parents were named Barbie and Ken. Uh, but her home was the furthest thing from a dream house. Lauren lived in squalor and filth, held captive in a four by nine foot closet, let out only to be tortured and brutalized by her parents and their friends. Yeah, you heard me right, they're, they're friends. And Lauren, what I want to do today um, is obviously, I, I want to re-engage here. What is disrupting your life the most? What's happening to you? Um, I hardly sleep. Uh, I have uh, night terrors, nightmares, flashbacks. Every day I re relive my past. It's, it's it, it doesn't ever end. I think when you say you relive it, it's not like a distant memory for you. It's like right there again. This isn't a distant memory, correct? No. Tell me about that. It's like I'm that child again every day. Um, uh, I can um, feel the pain and the the torture that I go through. It's, it's real every day. You, you have trouble sleeping? Yes, sir. And um, why do you think that you fight going to sleep? If I have a, a nightmare or a night terror, I can't, I can't wake up from it, so I'm just paralyzed in the whatever I'm, I'm seeing or feeling or doing right there. It's, so for you, going to sleep is like going back into that cave. Yes. But when you get in there, your legs won't move. You can't run, you can't wake up, you can't get out. And so if you, going to sleep is like going back to it. Yes. If you sleep, do you prefer to sleep during the day? Yes. What is it about the dark? Something about, about the dark, I don't, I don't know. Was it dark in that closet? Yes. Yeah, I went through everything that we've talked to you about and I kind of made a list of the things that you describe as experiencing uh, since we've talked to you last. You said you're having flashbacks where, I mean, it's just right back against you. Nightmares, night terrors, we'll talk about the difference in a minute. Anxiety, of course, relationship dysfunction, it's real hard to trust somebody, get close to people. Long periods without sleep. And um, there are times that you sleep on the floor or you actually sleep in the closet. Like three times a week, um, you wake up, there's no recollection, but you wake up in the closet. Yes. Tell me, do you have any idea how you get in the closet? Sometimes I'll do it before I go to bed, or sometimes I'll just wake up and I'm there and I'm trying to figure out how I got there because I know I didn't do it before I went to bed. Sometimes you do it before you go to bed? You go in there on purpose? Mm -hmm. Tell me what you say to yourself about going in there and going to bed on the closet floor? It's a safety. It's, it's a safe. It's kind of a comfort zone for you. Yes. 